good evening friends praise the lord i am here to not to give a teaching but a small sharing how the lord uh, opened up his ways in uh, for hh hsi in goa it happened uh, maybe 8 or 9 years uh, before some years before that brother anil and myself we were preaching a retreat in chennai it all began from there how the lord was talking to me and in the conversation uh, brother mentioned that it is uh, god who does not make uh, meetings possible just that way there is a purpose in my mind i said no and both departed from that place but this phrase remained in my mind in between maybe for some months then we gave a ring to each other saying hi and after that there was no contact with each other but this uh, phrase and the word anil arana resounded in my mind on and off maybe a little one year before when i was about to uh, preach in one of the churches in goa again this was flashing in my mind anil arana not knowing about the school of uh, discipleship and things like that but it was flashing in my mind and since i stay on the border of goa i had to go reach the that particular church early in the morning maybe somewhere around 5 530 or so and it would be uh, be very far for me so i thought i stay at my friend's place in the city close to that place and that night when i went to bed all of a sudden before that little before that i was thinking about anil arana don't know what but that's that that way when i had my supper and went to bed close to my bed there was a booklet anil arana so i said what is happening now so i took that book it was uh, brother's testimony so i read the whole night for a long time before i uh, slept and got up early in the morning and i preached this testimony to that place where i was uh, preaching along with the word of god and since then that those things became very clear to me what uh, the lord was trying to tell me so i tried through some of my friends who are present here i tried contacting brother anil do i had his phone number maybe i thought that he is not using his phone uh, number because there was a big gap and uh, uh, both of us did not uh, call each other so i thought maybe brother was uh, not using his phone number so when i when he gave me a call i was uh, driving my car vehicle and i saw anil arana i immediately parked my uh, took my car on the side and i was so excited to talk to him i said brother how are you and then it went on and from there things clicked and then as i prayed then the lord was telling me to start a hsi so i contacted the office how it should go we began the uh, inaugurated the first hsi the uh, school of uh, discipleship in goa that was the first it is almost a twin school meaning it is in english and in konkani the second school then as i began to pray uh, for these schools all around india and uh, the world the lord inspired me to uh, go in for a second school i uh, we have uh, opened this second school it is already launched inaugurated then after praying then brother was saying how how about having a school in the north side maybe hopefully it may uh, will be somewhere in uh, jain or so so these are the uh, uh, panjim and that is close uh, in, on the sk uh, skirting uh, in the city uh, taligaon there these two possibly will uh, come up maybe in the 2016 in the year 2016 so uh, we hope for 
I hope the Lord will do mighty things, uh, not only in Goa, but also in India. And apart from that, then what, uh, what I need to tell you is this. It is not only the gospel we need to leave, we need to reflect the outsides of the gospel, meaning we, we know the gospel so much. What is happening outside that? When the leper, Jesus told him, you go, get up and go. After that, what happened? What happened to the Samaritan woman? What ha happened to the adulterous woman? What happened to Zacchaeus? This is what we need to uh, bring in mind, reflect on that, because this is all evangelization. And we need not sit here that way. We need to go and evangelize and open more school. Tell people there are many people who do not know Jesus. They may be Catholic, they are inside the church, but they have not experienced Jesus. I hope we have experienced Jesus. We need to tell this to other people. And it's not uh, saying big praise. I, I just share a small testimony which I remember, which came to my mind as I was sitting there. One of my friends who was very closely associated with me, now he's not there in Goa, he's uh, in UK. He, he told me one day, you know, uh, Father, I was praying in the church. I saw one um, person, the one man, who was really struggling maybe. And I felt from within me, go and talk to him. So I said to this man, uh, Brother, can I say a small prayer for you? And he did say a small prayer, very small prayer. May your intentions be blessed and your ears be opened. And he left that uh, church. Now this man knew that he was coming to me. So one, after maybe one month or so, when this friend of mine had already migrated to UK, he came to me asking, uh, uh, where is this man who comes to you here? I said, which man? He said, describe me. I said, he's already gone to go, uh, UK. And he said that one day when he was struggling in the church that way, then this person came and said, you know, I, uh, can I pray for you? And then he said, I bless your intention and may Lord. That day what happened, this person was having some problem for long years. He could not hear in one year. That small and neither did this friend of mine uh, uh, knew that he had this ear problem. The moment he said that his ears ear opened and he could hear perfectly. That is evangelization. Thank you all and God bless you.